Now, in order to install a Viva well pump correctly, or any well pump for that matter, it is important to have a list of the correct tools at your disposal when it comes time for installation. This Viva well pump is a three wire, 115 volt pump. Now, since the pump has a inch and a half discharge, if you are trying to adapt it to one inch pipe, you're gonna need a inch and a half to inch and a quarter reducer, and then you're gonna need your inch and a quarter to one inch barb fitting. Now, I have it shown here with PVC and ABS, so basically plastic. This is good for about 100 feet, and it's also good for the amount of wire that they give you. Now, if you choose to set this pump deeper, say two or 300 feet, there's a couple things that you're gonna have to do. I would recommend switching over to a brass, bush, a brass bushing and either a brass or a stainless steel head here. If you choose to set it at 300 feet, I would go to a brass bushing, a brass inline check valve, and a stainless or a brass head here. Now, wire that comes with the Viver well pump is 16-3 wire and it goes into this control box. If you choose to put this pump past 130 feet, you're going to have to change the wire. And here's why. If we read right here on the warning, it says if pump is far away from power supply, wires must be thicker to avoid low voltage. Now that is very important because as our voltage drops, our amperage goes up, and then the pump has a harder time running, the wire can get hot, and then the control box will actually burn out. So what I recommend doing there is swapping the wire over to a 10-3 submersible pump cable. Now in order to do that, you're going to have to splice your wires. But I, I would not recommend using the entire 130 feet of wire there. What I would recommend is that I recommend you cutting the wire within about five feet of the pump and then strip this wire back to where you can make your spliced connection with your larger gauge wire because larger gauge wire will carry current and voltage further than the smaller gauge wire will. The instructions on how to wire up this pump is extremely simple. You basically just follow the colors to the bus bar here. Blue matches with blue, brown with brown, green with green, and black with black. Now, I twisted the blacks together here instead of putting it on the bus bar only because the screw had rattled out and it had gotten lost in shipment. That's okay, no big deal. A quick little wire nut fixed that. So if you have that issue, just wire nut them together. It does the same thing. If you wish to use a safety rope, the safety rope is going to go through this hole here, like so, and then you're gonna simply tie a knot in that rope and then follow it up your pipe and your wire, taping it every three feet. Now, once you have your male pump fitting and your bushing uh, threaded in with Teflon tape or liquid Teflon sealant, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is attach your black roll pipe. Now, black roll pipe, like we have here, I recommend using 200 PSI black roll, very important. Lowe's and Home Depot, typical supply stores, they sell 100 PSI, and you do not want to use that. Here's a trick on installing this pipe that makes it a lot easier. You simply take your torch, and you heat it up. Only takes about 8 to 10 seconds. You're going to do a little bit of a wiggle, and it goes right on. You're going to want to take your stainless steel clamps. If your wire is on one side, then you keep your clamps on the other side. Get them nice and hand tight. If you feel it pop, you broke it, so take it off and replace it. I always recommend using two clamps. It's better to be safe than sorry. Once you have both of your clamps tight, your pipe was warm so it was pliable, so it actually squeezed in to the barbs on these fittings. So it will not come off. Now once you have your pipe installed and your clamps tight, now it comes time for your wire. 
you're going to take your black electrical tape you're going to hold your wire to your pipe using black electrical tape only very important do not use duct tape duct tape will actually dissolve in the water so you're going to want to use black electrical tape and tape your wire to your pipe get down here tape it all around the clamps that prevents any sort of movement of the wire around any sharp edges of the clamps and then we're going to do this every three feet all the way up the total length of your pipe this keeps your wire and your pipe very tight very nice and neat flush to one another this will give your wire a longer lifetime of living down in a rough and jagged well so in order to wire this up to a pressure switch we're going to come over here we're going to cut off typical lead and then we're going to strip out some of the black here once you have the black insulation removed you will have your three wires here one of them is going to be ground and the other two are going to be your power leads all you have to do is match it to what goes inside the box now you don't have to use the lead that is given to you you can use any residential 12-2 wire and just follow the directions on the installation instructions that is given to you with the pump now to wire this to the switch we're going to strip away an inch of insulation on that wire we're going to strip away an inch on that wire and then an inch on this wire run them into our pressure switch we're going to hook up our ground And next we're going to hook up our hots. We're going to put one over here on your first screw. And then we're going to skip over here. And we're going to put this under this screw. Now it's very important that your other two wires here are going to a 110 volt breaker. Since this pump is a 110 volt pump. But that right there is how you wire it to a pressure switch. And then from the pressure switch, it goes into the control box. And then from the control box, it then goes out to the pump. Now our next step will be to take this out in the field, lower the pump in the well, and turn the system on.